Hey family, I am Dorothy Harris and welcome back to my channel. We talk about all things business, wealth, and lifestyle. If you're looking for entrepreneurial tips, ways to build more wealth, or hey, you just want to have some fun and adventure, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to like and go ahead and click that subscribe button. I can't wait to journey with you. Hey family, I am Dorothy Harris and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things wealth building, business and lifestyle, and of course, real estate and mortgages as I am a Michigan licensed realtor and loan officer. Now today's video is going to be a tad different, but I'm so excited to elaborate and to kind of talk more and dialogue more with you about this particular video because the topic is something that everyone has been talking about for the past few days. Now, if you haven't already heard, Bank of America has announced their 0% down, 0% closing costs down payment assistance program for homeowners, specifically targeting minority homeowners in which they elaborate is going to be for um, black and Hispanic homeowners. Now, if you guys are interested in hearing more about the eligibility requirements, I will tell you it's very broad right now as to what they're saying because it is something that has not launched yet. But they are basically giving us a little bit of insight in saying that as far as eligibility, there is going to be no minimum credit score requirement um, and no minimum credit criteria. It's going to kind of be a case by case scenario. But I will tell you some things they are going to be looking for. That's the first thing is going to be definitely timely rent payments timely utility bill payments, um, and probably a few other things they'll be looking for. All in all, they did mention they are looking for some sort of credibility. Um, so it is going to be flexible, but there's definitely going to be some requirements, just no minimum credit requirements for this particular program. Now, the two things that are going to be based on this program, as they mentioned, is going to be based on your income as well, and also the location of the property that you're looking to purchase. So also keep that in mind. Now, it is only going to be um, eligible in certain cities for this particular program. So the five cities that they're targeting, which I'm sure they probably found has the least homeowners and the biggest lifespan of minority communities. And those five cities are going to be Charlotte, Detroit, Dallas, Miami, and Los Angeles. Now that I went ahead and gave you some insight about the program and what it entails, let me tell you, if you haven't seen already, there's tons of controversy around this particular program, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you why, so stick behind. If you haven't already, family, go ahead and like and subscribe, because again, you're going to just love it here, okay? Now, what most people are finding interesting is maybe a little time ago, but some time ago, Bank of America was certainly prosecuted by the Obama's administration in which they actually were prosecuted specifically for predatory lending and discriminating amongst minority homeowners. So hear me out. Specifically, the prosecution is what we call a term predatory lending. Now, friends and family, if you don't know what predatory lending is, it's typically when these big banking institutions, they charge minorities higher rates and costs to obtain credit. And in comparison, the same other races, white races and other races, with similar credit criteria and characteristics with the financial backgrounds, they don't charge higher rates and higher costs only minorities and so bank of america did receive a big slap on the wrist because what they found in research was that not only were they giving higher rates and cost to the minority homeowners but they were given better terms to those who had the same or similar characteristics that were of other races now family i have two other terms here that i definitely want to make sure you understand what they mean that it's going to be redlining and reverse redlining now not only am i a michigan licensed realtor family i am also a licensed loan officer so yes i do write loans and i do do a lot with finance i also refinance homes as well I actually started as a loan officer before i got into real estate so i'm also licensed in all 50 states although i'm only licensed in michigan as a realtor I can write loans in all 50 states. So I'll also leave my information below if you definitely want a credible loan officer. Now let's talk about the two terms, redlining and reverse redlining. So redlining is when these financial institutions, they deny credit to a particular community of people or 
particular set of cultures or races that they just do not want to support, um, which is most of the times we find minorities. And then you have reverse redlining, where these financial institutions actually would gravitate toward these minority communities. And what they do is they go to these minority communities, they dangle things that look pretty, and they say, oh, come, we'll help you get, we help you become a homeowner. Like, we'll make this such an easy process, we'll help you. And then what they do is of course, based on your financial background, they approve you for these loans, although they know you may not even have the potential to pay this back based on your financial background, yet they'll still give you the loan to buy the house in the back of their head knowing that you might not, most likely will not have the means to pay this back for their benefit, of course, because you're probably thinking, oh, well, why would they give me something if they know I cannot pay it back? Because what happens is the banks buy back property. Once you actually get too behind on your mortgage loan and you foreclose on your property, they buy it back for a way cheaper price than what you bought it for. And so, of course, you end up leaving with nothing, but of course, they leave off with something, if that makes sense. So, it's definitely, you know, something that will put you in a worse off position when it comes to reverse redlining because not only are you foreclosing and losing your home, your credit is even worse off than it was in before. And of course, this bank is just going to buy the property back and sell it and get profit from it and their life goes on. And so it's very important, friends and family, to make sure that not only you pick the right loan officer when you're getting your home loan, but that you pick the right mortgage lender. And so I'm certainly going to be giving you guys some resources of some mortgage lenders specifically for minority communities. I'll definitely drop some there. And then I'll also put some other lenders that are just really good to use. Um, if you, you're that person that loves to support lenders and companies who support people all around, um, who definitely stand for inclusiveness and diversity, um, then of course, I'm sure you're that person who would also want to use a lender who stands for that as well. Um, so it's very important that you do your research. I'm going to tell you right now, um, Wells Fargo and Bank of America are two lenders who are certainly known for reverse redlining. In fact, they have been prosecuted multiple times for this. And so you're wondering why everybody is in a rage about these programs and some people are excited and some people are not so excited. It's because the history of this particular bank and what they've done. And if you think about it, right, we're in an economy where, um, you know, inflation is high and a lot of us don't even know, you know, in certain job markets, if we'll still have a job moving forward. And so just really think about that. Make sure you are financially sound before you decide to buy a house so that you can maintain it. Because I promise you, you not maintaining it, it's just a leg up for the bank. Um, you know, it's very important that you know exactly what you're walking into. Um, if you haven't already checked out, of course, I am a licensed realtor and loan officer as well. I already mentioned that. Um, a lot of my videos are contributed to educating first time homeowners. So definitely check out some of my other videos if you really want to understand kind of what you need um, to feel confident walking into the buying process. And also what you need to make sure that you are making the right decisions when you are buying as far as how much you should buy that house for, the things you should look for to make sure you can maintain that house um, and just making sure that you can be comfortable past buying that house, right? You wanna make sure you can't just buy it, but that you can maintain it and have that financial security. Of course, the security of your own home where you lay your head. So friends, that is my update for that particular program. Um, definitely feel free to make your own decision. Um, you don't have to definitely use this information to not work with Bank of America, but I wouldn't tell you to, um, you know, not use it to make an informed decision on using this particular lender. I definitely think it's going to be helpful for a lot of you for this particular program. And I definitely think it's going to be wise of you to really find a loan officer who is super educated on your, um, financial background and making sure that you understand what you can be approved for, but also that you understand, um, you know, how you can still be comfortable maintaining your home past moving in. So I always give tips and trips of percentages that you probably shouldn't go over with your payment based on your income, all those amazing things. So like I said, I'll be certainly making more videos. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out a few of my other videos. I definitely go over some homeowner tips, things to look for when you're purchasing. If you are someone who is looking to purchase soon um, or even even refinance 
feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to educate you and help you and make sure that you are getting fair treatment throughout the whole entire way. So thanks family. I'll see you in the next one.